Hi guys, this is Chef Pradeep. Welcome to International Bread Series Part 1. Today in this video, I am going to show you Melon Pan. This is a Japanese uh, sweet bread with a cookie crust on top. This bread roll resembles the shape of rock melon, hence the name Melon Pan. And uh, do watch the video till the end, it will be in First we are going to make dough for cookie crust. So I have taken 25 grams of butter, 50 grams of powdered sugar. If you have a caster sugar, I would recommend you use it. 100 grams of flour. Now I am going to mix them together. I am rubbing it with the fingers. This is called rub in method, like a short crust. So nicely rub it like this, it will start coming together. Once all this comes together and like a, like a crumble, then you can uh, add half a egg into it. Slightly, always keep the egg slightly whisked and keep ready. I'm using unsalted butter, so I've added a pinch of uh, salt into the recipe. This crumble, now I'm going to add in this I'll see how much is required if in case if it requires more then I will add more but uh, should be enough dough has come together don't knead this if you knead it gluten will develop and the cookie will not be as crisp as it is this is we are going to put this on top of the bread so what I'm going to do now is I'm dividing this I'm dividing this into small pieces Now I am going to cling wrap this and leave it aside. Now we are going to make uh, uh, bread, dough for the bread. So I have here 4 grams of uh, instant dry yeast. I have to activate it. So I am adding a bit of sugar and lukewarm water. Now I will mix this and leave it for plain fermentation. Now I am taking 200 grams of flour, refined flour, 35 grams of sugar. 4 grams of salt. I'm going to mix the dry ingredients first. Yeast is ready now. Activated. I'm adding the yeast. There's no water in this recipe. It is milk. So, same yeast bowl. I'm going to add some milk. Mixing it. So, start mixing now. Now, the half egg which we had, I am going to add that into this. Once uh, all the ingredients comes together, then I am going to put it on the table and knead it, so we can develop the gluten better. I am adding it on the table. Now once the dough comes together, well, that's when you will add butter. This is 30 grams of uh, unsalted butter. See now you have to knead nicely like this. This is a rich dough. It has eggs and milk. So the fermentation will be slightly slow. And uh, keep the dough slightly loose, not very tight. Since we are going to put uh, cookie crust also on top. The dough is ready now. I am going to allow this to relax for a few minutes before I divide it into pieces. I am going to leave in this for 5 minutes. Now I am going to divide this dough into 60 gram pieces each. 6 pieces. So to make this as a roll. And I am going to place it on the plate and I am going to rest it for a few minutes. Let it relax for a few minutes before we put cookie crust on top. Here I have the rolls, it is relaxed now. Also I have the cookie top. So you can also roll this 
with a rolling pin and then you can put it on top of this but this is how I do press like this then and take the bread roll put it on top turn it over now this falls on this like this and I'll just press the sides like this then I'll slightly roll gently to seal the bottom now it's fully covered this is fully covered with the cookie dough now I'm going to place this on a greased tray so I'm going to do the same for rest of the bread rolls as well show you one more time see like this press take the bread roll put it on top just gently press it you can do it with and here also very gently see all like this now the cookie dough is on top now you place it on the tray of the bread rolls as well covered now what I'm going to do is see, I'll take a knife then take a bread roll I'm going to give a mark like this on the back side and turn it mark on this side it's gonna mark that's why uh, the shape resembles rock melon that's why it's called melon corn see on this also same on this side now we have to do this for all the bread rolls see this already looks beautiful don't leave the video yet wait till this is uh, gets baked and uh, I will also show you how the surface as well as inside looks like now I'm going to keep this for proofing As you can see this has proofed now Even though this recipe has uh, egg and milk. I have, have not increased the, the yeast. I kept it at 4 gram and uh, it is slow proofed uh, This is the best way to do it and uh, now we are going to bake this in the oven the oven is set at 230 and at bake setting now I'm going to put this inside in the melon pan. now the melon pan is ready so I'm taking out isn't this beautiful melon pan is ready now it's a Japanese bread as I told you earlier see this has nice cookie crust on top and it's a very soft bread roll in the bottom so when you bake it it's like this See, it's very soft inside and you can see this cookie crumb is coming off. It is tasting time. You can see the bread roll is extremely soft and uh, the top has a crust on it. So when you eat it, the soft bread roll along with uh, the crisp crust, it's giving a unique uh, taste. And uh, I hope you like this recipe. For more such unique recipes and uh, national uh, breads, Please do subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you.